Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Brian from Aquascape, Team Aquascape, and thank you for joining us on our Sunday edition. Um, those of you that haven't, uh, start over. Hey, good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining us on the, oh my God. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not making any sense right now. Somebody make me sound smarter than I am. <laughs> Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to Team Aquascape. I'm Brian and thanks for joining us on the Sunday edition. I'm actually standing out at the beginning of a brand new project and notice I'm kind of all alone. The rest of the crew is not here and there's a reason for that. The reason is because on a big project like this and it's a pretty big project, I've got a lot of preliminary stuff I wanna do before the guys get here. Lots of measurements, lots of excavations, stuff that I can't keep them all busy while I'm doing that. I probably got about an hour of just laying stuff out before I even can start digging. So I've got a lot of measurements and everything else and I thought what would be an awesome opportunity is actually take you guys through that entire process, through the whole design, the design I laid out with the customers, I kind of thought process with it all and then the excavation and laying out some of the rainwater harvesting systems elevations of ponds and so on and so on but let's go with the design first and hopefully you guys enjoy this here we go this is the drawing I did about a couple months ago a big reason I had to do it was uh, we needed to pull a permit for this one for the city mainly because of the topography they wanted to make sure I wasn't going to affect drainage throughout the rest of the property but before we get into that let's actually just talk about the basics and the design of it all this is the house right here from this corner to this corner which is that space there to that space there that indoor area is actually their outdoor living space. So inside there, there's ceiling fans. You've got an outdoor kitchen kind of going in there. Big living space over there. TV mounted on the wall. Going to be a pretty awesome area, especially to look out this way. The biggest challenge we have is a massive slope that kind of runs like this. In fact, from there, from the base there, which is not our water level, we want water up higher, but from the base there to about where this white line is, is a little over two and a half feet. As I continue to go down this way, it goes down to almost six feet down, so like right about there. So it's a pretty substantial slope. So let me kind of talk about the challenges of the design as we get back to this. So of course, this is our main viewing area. And every time we're designing a feature or every time I'm designing a feature, I wanna make sure that they can see something from inside the house. Now to get a waterfall coming back this way, remember this was almost two feet lower back here than it is from here. So if I wanted to put a waterfall over here, not only would I have to build this up two feet, but imagine how massive my berm would get. It would become enormous and I'd have to bring out probably around 100, 150 yards of soil. So what I came up with is something a little bit different. Try to work with the topography. So I'm gonna bring the water right up to the foundation of that outdoor living area there. My pond comes out roughly about 20 feet. It's actually 22. And it's about 22 feet wide here with a wetland filter here. The whole pond is going to have this infinity edge type look. Remember, because it slopes quite a bit. All the way back to here, it drops about five feet. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is take all of my spoils from this, all of my spoils from this, all of my spoils from this, and my 3,000 gallon rainwater harvesting tank. Take that and put it all right here, which will create a massive berm at the back side of this sunken area. So if this whole pond overflowed had a five foot drop coming down. I've obviously got to excavate a lot of this out. As this drops five feet, that'll give me that true infinity edge look. I'll have a staircase that comes down with stepping stones out to a patio. If I drop this down five feet, then this will already be up five more feet. Plus then the spoils from this, which would give me somewhere around a six to seven foot high waterfall facing back this way. And so my hope when this is all done is that when looking from inside this space and looking back out this way, they'll still get that big waterfall facing towards the house. And then with the pond having that infinity edge going this way, the epic view will actually be from this space right in here as these staircases come down the stepping stones go across, and then we do that sunken patio like we did out at the other job. So from sitting in here, you've got waterfalls coming at you from three different directions, and this is a big 18-foot fire pit. So without further ado, let me get this thing painted out, get some soil and stuff moved, this giant pile of soil, 
is right where the harvest system kind of needs to go and that's where the fire pits at so all of that's got to get moved from there over to there once i do that i'll start painting this thing out a little bit more and show you it on the ground this is kind of why i don't like doing drawings because if you guys are confused by this imagine what the homeowners are like <laughs> all right guys things got a little crazy out here it started raining and now look at i mean it's as sunny as can be but What's nice is in a machine, I was able to keep moving through everything, get a lot of our burn work done. I moved all of that dirt, got the hole excavated, got the fire pit laid out, even got the pond laid out, and I kind of want to show you what I achieved. More because, not to pat myself on the back or anything, but I think it'll help you guys visualize a whole lot better what happened so far. So let me turn this around. There used to be an enormous amount of dirt right in this area. I took all of that moved it over to here so that area right in there is going to be this space right here so this is that big waterfall coming down where that area is over in there kind of coming through there is the beginning of this space right here so these are going to be those stone steps with those stepping stones kind of coming across over to where i'm sitting right now this fire pit area so you've got this area over here which will be some stone stairs that wind up and come back around to the house you can see i built all of this up took all my excavated soil from my 3,000 gallon tank moved it up over to here to create a nice terrace in here i'll get the stone steps that come down with stepping stones coming across the top of my aqua blocks over to here. And then you can see here, that marks the center of my 18 foot fire pit patio. So sitting from here, you'll get that big waterfall there, and then you're gonna get another one right here. So this spot down here is gonna be pretty insane. Probably a little over the top. We'll have to be somewhat mindful of the sound because there's actually nothing worse than having to talk over the sound of a waterfall. And with two, look at how big this is. I mean, you can see my shadow, and I'm not that tall of a guy, but that thing's easily six feet tall. Let's actually go over here and look. I'll even prove it. Take my transit stick. That actually says six feet tall. So awesome. We've got a big six foot high waterfall coming down there. It'll move through this kind of stream area. Remember, stepping stones over to the aqua blocks. Another seven foot high waterfall on that side. I think on this side, I'm just going to do more of a sheet style. And then this side, I might drop it once and then drop it again. Maybe even a split or something coming around. This side will have all kinds of splits. There will definitely be a sheet and then a split or another split. I'm really excited about this area. Let me take you up towards the top and show you what this view is going to be like. So then we come up here into what again is the outdoor living space. You can kind of see the pond laid out here. Comes like that, comes right to there, and comes back over into this area. Wetland filter is going to be there. So from in here, water is going to come right up to the foundation of this area. And then right there is where that space is falling towards that patio. So we get the drop towards the fire pit. It'll go through that little stream area. And then that's where that tank is sitting right now. So what I was really trying to accomplish was build all of this up then use that natural topography where it dropped five six feet down to that grade to create a true infinity edge and i think right now i'm be able to get that so from up in here that's where that big seven foot fall is way out over there and then right here is where that infinity edge will go down to the fire pit area. Now I'm also going to leave a lot of room for landscape in here. I want to ultimately kind of hide that fire pit. I would love to see maybe a glimpse of it, but I love that mystery as you guys know. When people see that waterfall just kind of disappearing, I think it'll also pull a lot of people down to like, hey, where does that go? When they come to this patio and see a pathway that kind of disappears and the key is to make it disappear. So their interest draws them around this berm and there'll be some trees in here, especially some tall stuff here. If I can get something tall that kind of frames out that waterfall in the distance that'd be great and then something kind of shorter and medium in here that still acts as like a picture frame for that waterfall and then that infinity edge going this way will open up the line of sight so you see that waterfall come all the way down to the the bottom of the pit there so lots of mystery lots of cool things crazy awesome elevations to work with and uh just really excited hey so i hope that wasn't too confusing i really just wanted to kind of inspire you guys show you how to use different topographies to your advantage when you get that slope that goes away from a house, use that. Don't try to work against it and get waterfalls facing in other areas. But if you're going to do that and have a waterfall facing away from the house, know this. You're going to have to create some type of destination spot down at the bottom. If you don't create that destination spot, there's no point in having the waterfall 
facing in that direction. So coming down into this area is just gonna be awesome. Well, it was a crazy day for me. Thanks for joining. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this version of our Sunday edition. Uh, make sure you tune in to the rest of Team Aquascape Tuesdays and Thursdays every single time at nine o'clock a.m. and you're gonna get to see the fun progress of this awesome project. Thanks so much, bye.